So how did you end up here anyways? Oh, that's a long story, Duke. Tell me, I want to know. Well, every story has a beginning. We were the original rebels. It's true. You wouldn't know it from looking at me, but I used to be a party god. I'm talking absolute Chad. On the streets, in the clubs. People tried to step to me all the time to test my dance skills, and they fell one and all. If I was around, your relationship was in grave danger. I rocked the most lethal bass in my whip. My crew lived the good life, but it wasn't enough. Oh, it's never enough. It became all about chasing the next high. As it always goes with these stories, it all spun out of control and fell apart, and I did things I'm not proud of. So I ran away to do some soul searching. No matter how much I isolated myself, the party life was always close behind, tempting me. There's always a new club opening up somewhere, new haters chasing clout. I started going out again. My reputation was all I had left. Your father didn't approve, mainly because I listed him as an AA sponsor, and he was worried about his good name like the big nerd he is. I forged new rivalries, and reignited old ones. I was king of the night. There was this one guy who really had it out for me. I called him Pumpkinhead. That wasn't his real name, of course, but you should have seen his head. It was the roundest thing I'd ever laid eyes on. His people were known for their long, cone-like heads, and I think he was a little embarrassed about it. He was just so completely whack, and it was my duty to put him in his place. He had a little machine that did his dance fighting for him. All right, I get it. He sucked. What happened next? You aren't ready for what happened next. In fact, I humbly request that you physically hold on to your seat because what I'm about to tell you is likely to blow you into a galaxy far, far away. I want to know. All right then, you asked for it. What happened next was 